Hey everybody, Omar here, the Knife Shark Guy, and I am back with another new knife for you today. And today I want to showcase a new knife maker uh, that is out there right now. You can check him out on Instagram. His name is Peter Swanapole. He is a brand new knife maker, uh, fairly brand new. He's been making knives since 2010. Uh, he made his first fixed blade uh, at around that time, 2010. Uh, not quite sure how long he's been doing folders, but it's not that long. At this point in time, Peter only has two knives, uh, that he is currently, uh, making. And I'm going to bring them both out. Now, the first knife I'm going to show you, I actually did a video on it about 90 days ago. And I'm going to bring it out right now. Uh, and here it is, the Peter Swanapole. Evolver. Now, I talked about this knife before, uh, and since then, the knife has been carried by me every Friday. Uh, it's my Friday knife, because all my other customs are so fancy, right? I wanted to carry something that wasn't as fancy. Just a good, solid knife I wanted to have in my pocket. Something kind of fun, and this definitely fit the bill. Uh, I'm not going to do a video on I just wanted to show it to you. Uh, if you, I did already do a video on this knife. If you want to check out that video, you can check it out on uh, on this channel, uh, Knife Shark. It's there. Uh, but as you can see, it's a very basic knife, and that's basically what he does. So, just wanted to show that quick to you. So that that's the uh, Peter Swanepoel uh, Evolver. You can check that out, and you can purchase that piece. Uh, you can't buy it on South African knives right now because I just bought the last one. I'm not sure if he's going to put another one, but you can definitely order one from him uh, at his uh, Instagram page. Uh, under Swanapole Designs, I'm going to bring out the uh, his certificate of authenticity. And there it is right there. Swanapole Designs. I want to make sure you guys get that in case you're interested in this piece right here. Uh, it is just a fantastic knife. I love it. So there you go. So as you can see, the knife is signed by Peter. The date. You know, everything. The details about the knife. Really nice knife. So I'm going to put that knife aside. Because that's not what I'm going to talk about. What I want to talk about is the new knife that I got. Just a few days ago. And the knife is called the Peter Swanapole Revolver. This is his new knife. I want to wipe it down. Uh, hold on a second. Fingerprints are all over it. So there you go. It's called the uh, Peter Swanapole Revolver. This is a manual folder. It's also a front flipper, so if any of you guys are out there are big front flipper fans, you're going to love this knife because this is a lot of fun to flip. Just want to give you guys a quick overall view of this piece. This knife is solid titanium all the way around. It's got a nice pocket clip there. This is a right-handed knife, uh, and... You cannot take the clip and switch it over because the uh, pocket clip is bent the wrong way for that. You'd probably have to order that special or order a special lefty version of the knife. I'm pretty sure uh, Peter could do that for you if you are left-handed. Okay. The blade is M390. And look at this thing. It is a worn clip style blade. I love worn clip style blades. Just the way this knife looks, it looks like a mini... Uh, cleaver basically uh it's really awesome i mean if you have a friend who's a chef or you yourself are a chef you might want to order one of these it's just awesome i mean imagine if you're a chef and you didn't have a knife around you just pop this sucker off out of your pocket and you're good to go i mean if you just needed something you know you had to cut something real quick i don't know maybe some vegetables or something you could certainly do that the blade itself is m390 which is what i had asked for and he gave me a nice M390 piece. The uh, the Evolver is actually Bowler N690, which is a very, very popular steel in South Africa. Uh, they use it quite a lot over there, apparently, because it's about as common over there as 
I'm going to say like Sandvik is over here, or, you know, maybe even s 35 vn But I'm going to say Sandvik. I think that's a better comparison. Uh, the knife really flips incredibly well. This guy does lockups like nobody's business. Uh, what's really impressive about this knife is how thick the titanium is. I really love that thick titanium. There is no chance of any blade play. This is the only knife I've ever had where you can actually unscrew the thing all the way and there's still no blade play. I was laughing at that. Uh, I, I actually adjusted it just a touch, sorry Pete, uh, to get it centered. And as you can see... I was very successful. Look at that. The centering is dead on. Beautiful. Love it. I mean, this thing is a hell of a lot of fun to flip. Uh, I couldn't stop flipping it from the day I got it. It was absolutely insane. So let's go ahead and do some size comparisons real quick so you guys can get an idea about the size of the knife. So I'm going to go ahead and bring out some knives you might be familiar with. Of course, you've seen these knives before. They're the only knives that I actually own that you guys might even know. So let's go ahead and put it up against the Spyderco Swish Bowie. One of my favorites. There you go. The Sebenza 21. It's actually the same exact size as Sebenza 21. So I want to go ahead and put that up against the Sebenza 21. So there you go. Really great, great size. Uh, here it is up against the discontinued ZT0900. I'm sure you guys probably have this knife too. It's uh, discontinued. You can't even get this knife anymore. Uh, but the uh, revolver is slightly larger. So there you go with that, the size comparisons. So when it comes to Peter Swanepoel, this guy is all about getting the basics right. Uh, he's not quite working with any exotic materials like Ambonia Wood Burl and uh, uh, White Westing, uh, Micarta White Westinghouse, if you guys are like uh, real, uh, you know, real custom collectors like myself. Uh, he doesn't work with any of those exotic materials. It's just not where he's at right now. What he is at right now is making... In my opinion, I think he's into probably trying to make as many different designs as he can, getting the basics right. Because once he can make a few different designs, I'm guessing, all right, then he'll start to, to move up and maybe work with some new uh, new materials like White Westinghouse Micarta and Bonya Wood Burl G10 and all that stuff. You'll start to see that stuff slowly introduced into his knives. And actually, if you take a look at his website... Uh, her Instagram page, he's already starting to do that. He's already starting to uh, experiment with different materials. He's got, in fact, there's a knife on there I, that I actually wish I could have, but I don't think he has it anymore. I love that piece. I, I believe it has White Westinghouse Micarta on it. I'm not sure. Maybe it's got White G10 on it. I don't know. But it looked fantastic. It was basically a uh, an Evolver with like the white Westinghouse micarta on it, I think. He's also worked with uh, carbon fiber as well. He made one, I believe he made one where the uh, the entire side of it was all uh, carbon fiber and then the back side was titanium. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, so for Peter who's starting out, uh, good work, my man. I think this guy's really on awesome. I think this guy's on his way. Uh, you know, every knife collector, you know, does love to champion a new knife maker that's on the rise. And this is the guy that I've decided to uh, champion. If you're interested in his work or you're interested in maybe getting a, uh, a Swanepoel uh, Evolver, which I highly recommend, or a, uh, a Revolver, definitely consider getting one of these. Uh... He, he can colorize the knives, uh, but he hasn't perfected that yet. But yes, he can colorize them in bronze and uh, probably blue and some of your basic colors. He's got very... Uh, he doesn't have as much customization with his knives. Like I said, he's trying to get the basics right. And his knives are basically for anyone who wants a good, solid tool. I'm going to be honest with you. If you are at the point in your knife making where you think you've had enough of Spyderco... 
right? Maybe you've had your fill of ZTs, and you want to feel something different, but you're not quite ready to go full custom, get one of these, man. Definitely go for one of these. At least you'll get to see what it feels like to own a custom knife. At the same time, you'll get the idea of what it feels like to own a knife made by one guy, uh, by hand from start to finish. Uh, he does, I think partly he does part of his work on machines and part of his work, uh, you know, uh, by hand. The frame locks themselves are done with water jet. I'm sure that's pretty common with a lot of knife makers, but, you know, still it's kind of nice to know that stuff. And he is the only guy working on his knives. Uh, it does take a while, uh, to get a knife from any knife maker. I want to say that. Uh, turnaround time, if you're ordering, would be anywhere between, I'm going to say, how depending on how complicated the knife is, anywhere between like a month, if you can make that long, to two months, depending on how elaborate your knife is. And that is not exclusive to Peter. That is exclusive for, that is for pretty much any knife maker. Roughly two months is how long it takes to make a knife, especially if you're ordering one um, that's one of a kind. So... You might want to keep that in mind. Um, so there you have it. Peter Swanepoel, once again, with the uh, revolver. This knife, I think, over time is going to become a great seller. This knife is incredibly smooth. I didn't talk about it enough, so I apologize. It's incredibly smooth action. It's a fun front flipper. I don't want to, you know... I don't want to hit my camera here, but yeah, it's a fun, it's a fun front flipper. It's very smooth. And look at how thick that blade stock is. That's insane. You don't see that on a lot of knives. That thick blade stock, that's pretty rare. Uh, you know, I, I haven't seen it too much on a lot of, like, production pieces, you know, where the, 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 uh, the blade stock is that thick. I mean, it's just amazing. So there you have it, the Peter Swanepoel revolver. I hope you guys get yourself one of these because these are kind of fun. The uh, price on this knife, uh, I think it was four fifty. Very reasonable for what you're getting, uh, considering custom knives just keep going up and up and up and up. Uh, and as this guy gets better, keep in mind, as this guy gets better, uh, his knives are going to start to go up and up and up and up. I mean, that's pretty much what happens to a lot of knife makers. Over time, they get really, really good, and they, they start getting well-known for a piece. And then the next thing you know, their prices jump up to from like 450 to 550 and they just keep going up and up and up. Uh, simply because the knife, co knife collectors like myself uh, are praising them, talking about them. And of course, you know, they put out the quality work that you would expect. And this knife is absolutely incredible. You can tell the amount of care the guy puts into making his knives. As basic as they look, uh, when you have one of his pieces in your hand, you're going to be blown away. I know I was. I was definitely blown away, so... There you have it, the Peter Swanepoel uh, Evolver. When you do get the knife, you get it in one of these cases with the Certificate of Authenticity. I'm going to go ahead and show that to you. There you go. All right, as you can see, I got the Revolver number 7 with M390. It's a full titanium piece. And the knife was made for me on July 7... I mean, July 28, 2019, there's a signature right there. Certificate of Authenticity is something you always want to get from every custom knife maker. Uh, it legitimizes that this is an authentic knife. Okay, and I love his little uh, Certificate of Authenticity. Uh, it's basically, it's a card, but this thing is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So, there you have it. The Peter Swanepoel revolver 
pick yourself up one of these. You can check them out on Instagram if you're interested. Or at least take a look at some of his knives. I think you'll be very impressed. If you go on his Instagram page, you can chat with him. You can talk with him. Hopefully, you'll order a knife from him. Uh, he's a real sweet guy. Really nice to talk to. Uh... And he gave me my knife in very reasonable uh, time. Uh, to Peter, however, I want to apologize to this guy. I was a real pain in the ass. Uh, you know, because again, this is actually my first knife that I've ever actually ordered from any knife maker. I didn't know what it was going to be like the experience that I had. But I got to be honest with you, uh, when I got the piece, everything's all said and done. This was worth every freaking penny. Uh, so to Peter, I'm very happy with the purchase, uh, and I hope I'll be able to buy another night from you again and not be such a pain in the ass. Uh, this is your video, my friend. I'm introducing your work to the world. I hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, this is Omar the Knife Shark Guy, hoping you'll find this piece of sharp art in your collection. I'll talk to you later when I come back again with another custom knife. Uh, I've got a new one coming from Andre Thorburn, and that one will be coming in September, and I can't wait because it's probably going to be my last night for a while. This is not a cheap hobby, as you guys know. Uh, we're going to have to build up some cash flow or at least save some money. Uh, as much as I love knives, you know, and I love the people that make them, uh, it is a fun hobby, but yeah. It can drain your bank account if you're not careful. So anyway, this is Omar the Knife Shark Guy signing off. Uh, hoping you'll find this piece of sharp art in your collection. Check out Peter Swanapole on his Instagram page. At Swanapole Designs as well online. You can check him out. He's got a separate web page, I believe, called uh, Swanapole Designs. You can check him out. His knives are actually also on sale at SouthAfricanKnives.com, although you won't be able to buy either one of these knives right now because I bought the last one of these on his website, but you can definitely get it from him on his Instagram page. You can also get this knife on his Instagram page, too, if you order one from him. He'll be more than happy to, to make you one. So this is Omar the Knife Shark Guy once again signing off. God bless you guys, and peace.